Hi guys, this is ProtoNerd. This time I'm going to show you something really crazy I made just recently. So it all started with Carnival period, which is a festival here in Germany, where people get together wearing all kinds of funny costumes. It's like a kind of um, comic con. And my son wanted to slide into the role of Kylo Ren. Of course, every boy nowadays wants to do it, I guess. So later on I showed him the fire demo of the Neo Pixel Blade, a video I uploaded a few months back. And he told me that, uh, hey dad, uh, that just looks like the lightsaber of Kylo Ren. So the other day I made an inventory of my lightsaber parts and I discovered a lonely, gutted Hasbro Ultimate FX Darth Vader lightsaber. And I thought to myself, well, rumor was, rumor was anyway that Kylo Ren found the damaged saber of his grandpa and modified it to become his lightsaber with the cross card. And although this theory was proven wrong, I thought to myself, why not? So, we are not to spend too much time on it, that is the result. So this is a scratch build Kylo Ren lightsaber made out of an um, old Hasbro toy lightsaber. You might recognize the original parts, so I built the cross uh, card myself. Um, because my son grew so fond of the fire effect, I set out to modify the LSOS from Nesquik. Uh, running on my Dino Prime board to include the um, API for now pixels. It took some days to get it right, but I'm quite proud of the results. So let's have a look at it. How it works. I will switch off the lights. Unplug the kill key. So let the show begin. So you might have noticed that uh, already during the ignition the fire effects begin. So this is how it looks like, now fully integrated with the lightsaber sound. The blaster book. I wanted to have a very agitated look uh, during the clash, so this is how it looks like. And this is when I so this is the lockup. A lot of uh, sparks in the fire, and this switch off. Yeah. So this is basically how it looks like. I wanted to get as close uh, to the real Kyron saber as possible but still um, keeping the, the fire effect, because my son wanted it this way. Um, during the video you might have noticed that uh, the individual pixels are still visible in the blade. Uh, yes, this is actually uh, because I wanted to build this saber from, from scratch, so I used whatever parts I had at my disposal. Actually I took a leftover uh, stripes from my 60 LED Prometer now pixels. Uh, but now, to be honest, that I see, so now that I see how great it looks like, uh, I will probably build um, a similar uh, saber from a more densely populated um, no pixel stripe, where this pixel effect will not be visible anymore. But to be honest, still, it's a, for a toy lightsaber, it's, I think it's still perfect, and I like very much um, how it turned out to be. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye!